Hi. So today I want to start off with a question and just see how many of you are dealing with nightmares often. I've been there and I know how frightening these nightmares can be and how draining they can be for your day when you wake up with a night of tossing and turning or not being able to fall back asleep because your nightmares were so vivid and real and just frightening. So that is why today I'm going to be sharing the top three tools that I recommend for anybody dealing with nightmares to help reduce them. But first I want to talk a little bit about why they show up because I feel like every dream is healing and nightmares, especially these intense emotions and fears are showing up as nightmares for things that you are not dealing with in your real life. So there can be real healing potential here. And I've heard people say before, because one of the main things that I talk about is you got to remember your dreams in order to interpret them, in order to do the healing. And that's just the, the first step, right? But some people who are experiencing nightmares don't want to remember their dreams. And that is super valid if you know that every time you dream, it's something scary, maybe gory or graphic. And you're like, I just rather, you know, I'm fine if I'm not remembering, right? If this is you, definitely try the tools that I'm going to be sharing today and see if you can shift your, your view on these nightmares. Because like I said, all dreams are healing and these nightmares are really showing you uh, the level of fear or something that you are resisting in your day-to-day -day life. So you will continue to experience this until you face it head on. And once you do, you'll start seeing that not only the nightmare starts shifting into something more positive and problem solving, but it's also going to take effect in your day-to-day -day and you're going to see these fears uh, be worked out during your waking life. So that is the healing behind it. You first really understanding what it is so that you can stop running away from them, you know, in a case of a chasing dream or whatever it is that's showing up for you in these nightmares. So when you are able to work with them, you'll see them start shifting. You'll see them start having an impact in your life and you'll start understanding what the fear is so that you can shift it and work with it. Right. If you're just ignoring it, you know, I understand, uh, like I mentioned, not wanting to deal with these nightmares, but by using these tools, it's going to help you bring more uh, positive dreams, but also shift that nightmare into maybe the same message because your subconscious is still going to be processing it, but in a way that is not just you running away from something, but facing it head on. So, you know, I would really love to hear in the comments what's showing up for you. Um, and if you're willing to see your nightmares as a as a tool for growth for transformation and um yeah by using these tools this will make it easier so uh, the three tools i want to start with is the dream catcher so i have a little example here <laughs> um but traditionally dream catchers have been used in different cultures to trap the nightmare um the bad dreams within the web and then only allow the positive dreams to fall down the feathers or beads or whatever it is that um, the dream catcher is made out of so that the night the positive dreams can um, flow down the feathers into the dreamer so i've also seen them as more traditionally they'll, oops, <laughs> they'll have a gap here um, and the rays of the sunlight is supposed to release those bad dreams so that they can just be transmuted. Um, I like to add crystals in them because I love working with all different elements, plant medicine, crystals, you know, everything all in one. So I feel like adding the crystal based on the intention can also help. Um, and with that, a crystal for nightmares would be, a good one would be amethyst. Amethyst is really good for releasing anxiety as well as uh, promoting sweet dreams. So what you can do is work with your crystal, preferably a tumbled one, which is this um, softer, smoother crystal, and just work with it at night, just really setting the intention that you're going to have positive, positive dreams and then placing it under your pillow. Um, or if you have one of those that are more rough crystals then you can put it on your nightstand. Um, but amethyst is a great one for that. 
And then an essential oil that I would recommend is juniper berry. This one <laughs> is known as the oil of the night. It is the go-to essential oil for nightmares and night terrors if you experience those. What it does is it helps you um, have the courage to face the fears and also know that these fears are your greatest lessons and are trying to teach you something about yourself, um, about the way you're seeing things, your perception and how you can work with it. So with this oil, it's going to help you face those fears. And by using it at night, you'll be able to see, you know, or at least I've noticed this within myself and with clients that you'll see the dreams start shifting where for example, instead of running away from whatever is chasing you, you turn around and you actually face it. And then you see that it's like a little puppy or something or whatever you were afraid of wasn't that monumental. But if you continue running, you really never know, right? So with Juniper Berry, it helps um, bring out, bring to light what those fears are in a way that supports you in working through them and, and being able to face them. So you can diffuse this. Um, I like, like I mentioned, combining a couple of things. So in some dream catchers, I'll add lava beads, which are natural diffusers. You put a drop of the oil in and it'll diffuse it and then have the crystal as well as the symbolism behind the dream catcher above your head. And, you know, also journaling what, what's happening. That's kind of like a little bonus one, right? But working with these tools to help you reduce those nightmares so that it's something that you can actually start exploring and addressing and then doing the dream healing, which comes once you understand what the actual dream was trying to tell you, what that fear was. So give those a try. Um, if you are curious about like different ways to use essential oils for your spiritual practice or combining it into your dream work, just to really get you settled in for bed. Um, I do have a free ebook, uh, magic of essential oils, along with a meditation that you can use. Uh, I will leave that linked below, but you can go to the dreaming and, um, and search for that there. Um, and yeah, I would love to hear any thoughts on this. And if this maybe shifts your thought on wanting to remember your dreams, because if the nightmare is something that is trying to address a fear that you're going to continue to endure during your waking life until it's space, then maybe it is worth it <laughs> to start remembering that dream so you can work on it, transmute it so that it can transform um, into something more beneficial and continue on this personal growth and transformation through these dreams. So uh, check out that ebook, The Magic of Essential Oils, if you're really into essential oils and want to add it to different types of practices. And I would love to know your thoughts in the comments. I will talk to you soon. Bye.